the level look like? Oh, get out, it's got teeth. That's it? Oh, you're joking. Have a look. Oh, no. Have a look at your teeth, you are man. having a laugh. You are having a laugh. Have a look. It's not like the fucking one I put. Oh, it's flowing, don't slip. That is not stuck. going to be about an inch off the top of the wellies. Hello, welcome back to another video. So today, me and Adam, we are off to Tubrook and we are going to explore one of Liverpool's lost rivers, the Tubrook or the Tubrook culvert. It's the only part of this culvert you can see above ground. Uh, it's not really, in terms of how big it is, it's not really going to be a big, massive explore. It's only a tiny section, but it's a section that's never really been documented or explored as such. No videos of it on YouTube, so I thought we'll drop down today. We are currently experiencing something called an Indian summer. Now, today it is 27.5 degrees. It's a bit hot, like. It is a little bit hot, and as you can see, I am sweating, <laughs> and so is Adam. Yeah. So, we're hoping that when we get down here, the water levels are going to drop, because you can still explore it when it's flooded as such, but it's not as good. So, we're going to hope for what well, we're hoping for, nice sort of dryish sort of conditions in the tunnel so we're just going to pop down there and we're just going to see where this takes us righty ho here we go um you better like getting down that <laughs> Nice and dry. Nice and dry. Here's a mobile phone there. there or something, is it? Watch out for the nettles. Hmm? Um, not too bad. Hey, look at this. Six or five man to a I know, yeah, freaking out. Look at it, it's a. Uh... That's, look at that, look at this though. Is this is a bloody in a interesting find, mate. A message in a bottle? That is an old James Fluid bottle. Oh, wow. Wowzer. We'll come back to that in a minute. Yeah. Um, just before we go in, I'll just show you the size of Adam. <laughs> he is. Six how old? <laughs> six foot five. Six foot five. Oh, my God. Right. Here we go. I think the uh, the wellies were a good thing, yo, mate. Yeah. Do you like spiders? I love spiders, yeah. Well, there's one right in front of us here. I'm going to have to apologise to the spider and uh, unfortunately take his neck down. <laughs> his web, I should say. Sorry, mate. I do apologise. <sighs> I'll follow you in, in a sec. Alright. I tell you what though, it's silted up, you know. What? It's proper... It's proper uh, shitted up. What do you mean? Like, there's rubbish. Oh, really? Yeah. Right, so, just for reference, where this camera is now pointing, uh, it goes up to Edge Lane and it flows this way, which I think is northeast. So it carries on. I'll just show you here. So it goes that way down towards Muirhead Avenue way and it follows on its course right on up and it joins the River Alt. As I say, it's one of the main tributaries of the River Alt. And when I came in here quite a while ago, it was 2010, maybe 11, and the water was up to about here. I think it was about waist height. Now, 
Eric came down a while ago and checked out the water levels and this is when we had this really really severe uh, heat wave back in July me being lazy said oh no you know I'll, I'm too tired mate so I'll, we'll come back tomorrow anyway when we came back it was pissing down and the water level was absolutely shocking so we're in September now and we are experiencing something that they call an Indian summer and it is currently 30 degrees outside and I thought you know what why not just come down here today and see what we can find now what you see ahead of me here is some sort of arch now it looks like there's quite a lot of rubbish so we're going to negotiate this i was hoping to get through that arch but it looks like some sort of pool has formed so i don't think we're going to get any further than this today i was kind of hoping to get a little bit further on up but um no not it's it's not bad i mean i'm not as tall as you so <laughs> you can actually hear that fellow above us with the streamer <laughs> here's adam just coming in now hello, hello. shine your torch at the camera Ed. might make a boss little thumbnail that yeah so if you hear some noise above there's a fella streaming so <laughs> What can we find down here? So we've got Tesco stuff, we've got a Siggy butt. Uh, no rats at the moment. A uh, couple of bricks which is off the been washed downstream. Yeah, I think that tunnel mate is very inaccessible. Yeah. Very, very. I mean I'll come up and have a look if you want. Yeah, if you want to have a look. Above me here is two man old covers. Now, from memory, years ago when I was in here, I say it was about 10 years ago now, there was a certain section that had actually collapsed and it was all fell in. I've got some old photographs, so I'll try and throw some up. But yeah, I think it looks like they've repaired it, to be honest with you, because that looks like new, newish concrete. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that fell out above can hear us. And that's why he stopped. He's, so <laughs> He's a snail. Any random snail? Slug. The what? Slug. Slug, sorry. <laughs> Corrected there by Adam. <laughs> oh yeah. So what we've got here yeah, starts to go a little bit deep. So you've got like another little brick brick arch, which I was hoping. Do you know what? That's daylight. Is it? Yeah. Now as we go further into this, I'm just going to try and bend down. I think that looks like daylight. Yeah. I say not the biggest of mooches, but I don't think there's any, any video documentation of this culvert. Uh, anywhere on YouTube, so. Need to come back when it's fully dry. Yeah. When it's fully dry, hmm. Possibly, but. Just there, things above. That's all. That looks like it. it it's bobbing. Let's just try. I'll just let Adam have a look at this, but okay. I'll just try shine my torch through that and see what that is. Because that looks like daylight. Ah, I know what's happening. What's going on? So I think the brook bends around there, goes that way, mm -hmm. up towards Green Lane. And whatever this is here, is it daylight? I don't know. It looks like Can something. Turn your torch away from it. Is it? No. No. We thought it was daylight. I do apologise. You got a massive spider on your leg there, George. Have I? Massive. Is he big? He's big. He's a big one. He's on your right. right leg. I'll just move off the way and let Adam. Big fella. Adam, come in. <laughs> I find this sad. Um, cramped. Cramped. 
<laughs> very cramped and restricted. <laughs> yeah. Do you think we can? Do you think we can pass in this little place? So we, we can have, have a go. Go. We can have a go. Right, so I'm just gonna go and have a look at the arch. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I'm just gonna get back to where I was and have a little breather. <sighs> yeah, it's um, it's not deep. Oh, the which? I thought the planks there. It's weird, isn't it? Right. Uh, cool. Told you it wasn't the best, like the, 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 the longest of mooches, but. No, it's, it's cool. It's like, cool, isn't it? It's still good. Like still good to see. You know, alright? Oh, good. It's all good. <laughs> the thing you've got me doing already, George. Oh, yeah. Good deal. <laughs> So what we're going to do now, we're going to head out and we're just going to go across the other side. See the other side to where the gate is. I don't think, hang on, is that a blast from the past that had? Yeah. Look at this here. Remember that? What are they? Five, four, three, two, one. No. Do you remember them? No. We need to get that. Do you ever remember them? I think so. There was an advert on the telly uh, for them years ago, they're like from the 90s. Uh, what is it like this? Like a, like a toffee bar. Da, 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 five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Answer on a postcard. Does anyone remember them? Because I certainly do. I don't remember them. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll put that in my pocket. Tidy up, George. I like it. Yeah, tidy up. <laughs> <laughs> and what we're going to do now is there is a couple of old bottles lying around this uh, this brook as well so possibly at some point it may have been an old tip because oh, let's have a look at that um, any markings on that uh, I don't know I don't think so well this one down there is a very interesting bottle Jay's fluid, fluid yeah that's all I can say At least there's no rats anyway. Oh yeah. I mean I don't mind rats but I've been in some bloody confined spaces and there's been quite a few rats getting past me should we say. Right, okay, so torch off. Oh, a witch. Oh yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, looks like it's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. Oh, Ad. Yeah. Well, my sash you do is, you can go up a little bit and shine. I'll take some photos for a thumbnail. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Adam's just kindly taking some. Well, when I say taking some, shine the torch for me so I can get the thumbnail for the video. But just before we do get out, as I say, that does look like all new concrete there. Above, yeah. Um, the actual course of this, it, say it does go to Edge Lane, I believe it goes underneath Green Lane Garage and then where it starts in Edge Lane, I don't know so. But yes, yeah, say it flows down this way, northeast, right along the Ordered Avenue for Zachley and then joins the River Alt. So, I'm just going to head out now and we're going to go and explore this other side out. But we're going to get this Jay's Fluid bottle first because it's rather cool and it is really, really old. A day down the mine. It is, isn't it? So, as you can see there, Jay's fluid. Now, in my opinion, what's the sweat coming off me? I don't know well I've shown on camera, but two men in a confined space <laughs> on a hot day, what could possibly go wrong? Say nothing in the comments. Say no, yeah, <laughs> say nothing in the comments, please. Right, I'll just leave that there, we'll come back for that. Because that is an interesting find, that mate. Very interesting. Whew. So what we're doing now, we're just heading towards, is there? Oh, we'll grab that as well. Is it? Adam's, oh yeah. Nice find, oh yes. Very, very nice. Yeah, that's all that. And then you got this as well. This packet. 
so I'll just show you this I don't know how well it came up on camera inside but yeah five four three two one do you not remember oh you wouldn't remember them because you're only I'm 30. 30. 31. So I'm 46. So I'll try and find an advert on YouTube. I'm sure there's one somewhere. Ow! Nettles. Oh shit. Me torch. Oh Good job, it's waterproof. Uh, I'll leave it there. We don't need it, do we? Just remember that I'm through it there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're just heading downstream now, as I say. We're coming up towards where the old Carlton Cinema was on my left. And I don't think we're going to get any further, to be honest with you, but this is a bonus of being dry because you never really see it like this. It's always uh, always flooded, especially in high rains as well. There's a Delta taxi sign there. Makes you wonder how all these things end up in here, doesn't it? Mm. It's a possibility of getting further here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Someone years ago, when I was on the exploring forums, just told me about it. I, was used to, I used to do quite a lot of drains in that. And uh, he just said, you know, you can see the old, um, the old tube brook. This is the only part you can see it above ground before it goes back under. So obviously years ago, oh, rats. Rats. Um, I don't know if you want to go any further. No. I mean, there's a couple of rats there, like. Is there? Yeah. And it looks very sort of, how should we put it? There's a little hole there, he's just ran from there oh. into the hole. But it bends around there. Now I don't know if we can get above ground. And I don't think we're going to get into the bit. The, there's, there's a massive, massive culvert because years ago, the the roundabout was dug up due to flooding. Yeah. And they've they done something to replace something. And I managed to get in it. And uh, if I find some pictures, I'll throw them up now. But it's like a massive, massive concrete chamber which you can stand up in you can drive a car down it it's that big i don't think if we go any further than this we're going to be able to get into it i'm i'm sure it might be gated mm. so i don't know if you want to take a chance or just leave it at that but there's there's some rats there and i don't really like the look of you know what i mean i don't know what you want to do ad let's have a look I mean, there's rubbish here, like, there's all kinds of crap here, but let me just see what's up here. Oh! Whoa! Someone's house there. <laughs> Jesus, the size of that garden. Wowza. Whoever it is is going for a smoke. Um, what do you reckon, mate? It is, does look treacherous, doesn't it? Yeah. I reckon. You don't know how deep it is, you see. I know. And this bit was sinking a little bit. This bit that I have just sank quite a lot over there, like. I think the only way uh, we're going to probably get to see it properly is I'm just going to duck down a minute because that woman might see me. If it's you and uh, you're watching my video, love, we uh, we mean no harm. We're just explorers. Mm -hmm. We're not burglars, we're just explorers. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This is, I've never done this part before, but it looks dirty. Was this all gated the last time you were here? No, it was flooded. Oh. It was like up here. Like the water goes up to about here, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you see like the water line there, some of the sandstone's still wet. See this here? Yeah. This is like the water line. Yeah. The only thing is, there's a gate there. If we can get round to that gate and look down, we can see then, yeah. but I don't know. Curiosity killed the cat, didn't it, mate? Yeah. And I've got no gloves on me, but I've got wipes in the car, and there's you no know, rats and rat piss in there. Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> Starter. It does smell a bit weird. Do you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm now making a decision: shall I continue or what? 
if I go above ground here, this is the back of someone's garden, they could potentially think I'm burgling the place, which I'm not. I've just seen a few rats, so with rats you get rat piss and all that crap, so, and my gloves are actually in the bag, can't be asked putting them on. So I might try and just go up the top, you know mate, have a look down. You can do it, we'll hold the top. I think so, yeah, see where that woman is, because, I mean, in all honesty, not doing that wrong, are we? No, 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 right. yeah, I'm going to try and go up top then. It smells that um, effluency. <laughs> like, like waste, almost like oh, yeah, household yeah, waste. Yeah, yeah, she's in the garden having a smoke. Oh, freaking hell. It's crumbling. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Right, okay. Uh, I don't know what the rat was chomping on, but... Yeah, let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh. There we go. There we go. Foot on something. Foot on something. And we're up. We're up. We're up. Oh. Now, this path, I do believe, has never, ever, ever been documented. It's never been filmed. I'm overhead there, I can just see some sort of gate. I've got to try and get past this, which shouldn't be a problem, because it actually looks quite shallow. So if someone's garden is here, big massive house, and there's Adam there. So I think while I'm sort of halfway, I may as well just press on. But firstly, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some gloves on. Right, you know, the hand of God. So I'm now about to venture where I don't think anyone has ventured before in this brook. Just need to check a few things underfoot. This thing is very loose, very loose. <clears throat> loads of flies, loads of crap. Uh, it's getting a bit deeper yet, but it shouldn't be a problem. Oh yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. Wowza. Right, we're coming up to the, which is potentially the end. Wow, just do it, just do it, just walk through it. Don't worry about the rats, just walk through it. Wow, hello. This used to be a tip, there's bottles everywhere. Yeah, just look at another bottle here. So here's another bottle. Look like an old HP sauce one. There could be potential here for any bottle diggers interested. Looks like maybe the remains of an old Victorian bottle tip here. Whew. That's something in it. I'll just find out what that is. That's the second bottle I've found. So I'm just coming up towards where we cannot go any further. I'll just show you. Yeah. Oh, very, very silty. Looks like access as well. So I think that's the new section that was put in about 10 years ago. Uh, I'll just see if I can get a, this log out the way. It looks like they have kindly put in some access as well. Oh yeah, happy days. So if anyone's familiar with the area, you will know that this site here now, which is derelict, the Carl Cinema used to be here. And uh, was it the Koki nightclub used to be next door as well. So it's obviously, be knocked down now and uh, just vacant land. I don't know what's going to happen with it, but probably not unlike. But I think these are new as well, these all look new. So we're not going to be able to get in there. That takes us now under the roundabout to Brook up and right the way up to Fazakali and then up onto uh, the River Alt where it joins the River Alt. So yeah, just a little look at this before I head on back. Now, normally, 
when it's really really wet weather or when it's just sort of the, the land in general around this area the water would come up to about here so you couldn't even do this in wellies and as you can see look at that i suppose if the council come back and think about all this it may flow better but uh i say i've got some pictures which i'll try and find uh, i'll put them up that was very interesting moot that back in 2011 or something like that i remember it well because i was scoping it out the council had basically left a ladder to climb down i scoped it out and the police turned up and um, asked me what i was doing and luckily enough i actually had a book on the the brook and culvert and as just said i'm not gonna lie but oh look at this i'm not gonna lie but um I'm going underground to find things, yo. I'm literally good on the police. Did you went yet? Crack on. See you later. Happy days. Look at this. Look at that. That is... Jesus, I don't know what that is, but it looks bloody old. So, it looks like that when the water levels drop in this place, it gets very, very interesting. Like, I can see some glass bottles poking out. I can see like vases and stuff like that now this is probably the last time this year i'm going to get to do this because um adam you're not going to believe what i've just found adam's decided to join me i think he heard how much fun i was having it's doable like in wellies look at that it's like, it's like the top of a friggin in or the vase or something. Oh, yeah. Mad, isn't it? Yes. That's like an old HP sauce bottle. That one, I'll have to wash that off when we get out and have a look. Yeah. But I'll walk back up here if you want. Yeah. Got any gloves? Come on, you sure? So it looks like back in the day, we can see layers upon layers of like just crockery and broken plates and glasses and stuff. Like just for instance, just that there is just. Oh yeah, what's this? We've got something a name on it here. Oh, interesting. Wowzer. So this place has now gone from a normal, just everyday explore for me to now a very, very interesting site. Now the only way to find out if there's anything in the ground is dig it up. Now you can't really dig this up because it's people's gardens and that, so yeah, very interesting, very interesting. See what else I can find. See, there's a bottle there, but I don't think it's very interesting. Yeah, I've been down that way. Where that goes now is under the roundabout. That now, well, this this site now is 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 very interesting because yeah, look, just for instance here, look, you can just see the layers of of like stuff like you got brickwork, you got glass sticking out. Um, so. Behind all that, mate, it's going to be tons and tons of probably lost history of Liverpool. Just glasses, bottles, crockery, and just general, you know, what have you. You're joking? Oh, Adam's found the gate open. Oh, <laughs> happy days. Righty, oh, so here we are. It's a mad one, isn't it? At the site of the former... Carlton Cinema. Yeah, explored that back in 2008 9. Good explore. I don't, I've never ever got into the club. Never got into the club. As you can see, my face is bloody dripping. It's warm. sweat. It's warm. it's warm, warm. What's that? An old taxi sign? Yeah, that'll probably be off the side of the cinema. I, I bet. Not bad, but what did I say? Only take about 20 minutes, Dad. <laughs> An hour later, we're still mooching around. We just found an old bottle tip. So you can see the way that the flow's going. Just trickling down into that chamber. That's, um, I mean, that looks old concrete, which it is. Uh, sorry, that looks new concrete. Mm. <clears throat> but it's met by some dead old brickwork inside. Yeah an arch and then it, when you get to the end of the roundabout it just goes into modernized uh, spray concrete like well, when do you reckon they put this on george this was probably done when they redone the drain in 2011 or 10. because yeah. apparently the roundabout used to flood oh, yeah. 
and it was something to do with over that side and um so they dug it up and then they, they, they obviously extended because because don't get you know don't forget all this was built like years and years ago and now we can't handle the the, the, the flow of thing you know so like the reason why it went underground obviously due to like urban development should we say um everything was built over and the, the actual some of the culvert cannot take the the flow of water so they extended that to push you all through and then as i say beyond the beyond the roundabout under is is you can literally drive a car down it it is huge really, yeah. yeah it's massive and it goes on for miles and miles and miles which i haven't really explored further on so that'll be for another video i know where the access points are because uh, do, yeah. some council fella kindly told me where the manual covers were so what we're going to do we're just going to head back but we're going to pick up some various items so here's another nice looking bit of crockery just here so it may be not on but bloody hell mate oh. if you can if you keep finding all this stuff you know you're onto some sort of old tip mm -hmm. so well years ago back in like you know victorian times and stuff like that they never had bin men so what you do is at the end of your gardens or whatever you'd, you'd basically throw all your rubbish yeah. in in a hole yeah. and then obviously over years you know it just yeah, know. It, it just gets built over and stuff like that and then due to like say erosion and stuff like that these these things start popping out that's where you find all this but i should imagine that under all this is is a is a is a aladdin's cage made of bottles and plates and mm. pipes and stuff like that i mean just look what's happening with the williamson tunnels they're finding stuff every week every day yeah. and uh so there's some of my little finds which i'll possibly take with me Right, we're just going to make our way out. There is absolutely tons and tons of things to see, but we just have not got the time. So, if any potential bottle diggers are watching this, look at that, it's like an old. It could be new, it could be old, I don't know, but, but as you can see, the layers and layers of just broken glass, crockery, and cups and bottles and that sticking out. I so I didn't expect this today. All I expected today was just go and do the tunnel 20 minutes or so and get out. But this looked rather inviting, should we say. So I'm glad I've done it. This wall has probably seen better days as well. Oh. You just walk right through with that? Is that right, yeah? I think I went up before a little bit. I can hear baby bats. Or is it birds? Oh, oh yeah, winner winner chicken dinner that one had. I don't know how well you can see that on camera, but that wall to the left is slightly bowing and there's a bit of a metal thing there supporting it as well, so. Happy days. Don't forget the Jay's fluid bottle. So we're back into somewhere called Oh God, it is, yeah. 
Gardner Close in Tubrook. Yeah, we've got a bit of a skeleton on the go there, lad. Where did I put the Jay's fluid bottle? There's the torch in it. Do you get do you get stung? Yeah. Right, okay, so that was a look at one of Liverpool's Lost Rivers, the Chew Brook. Originally, as I say, the video was only going to be about 20 minutes long. However, we've gone downstream further and we have uncovered what looks like an old Victorian tip. So, very interesting. And uh, here's one of the bottles, Jay's Fluid. I'm going to clean that up and I'm going to stick a few pictures up later on. Uh, Adam's found an old Diet Pepsi can as well. And 54321, which Adam has never heard of before. So, all that's left to say is thanks for coming again on this journey. I hope you've liked it. Uh, Adam, cheers mate, thanks no a lot. Cheers, Alex not here man. today, he's busy, yeah. See you next time Adam. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Hello, welcome back to another video. So today... So, so... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, I'm so sorry. <laughs> What was you expecting? No, no, it's just, it's just the, the, the pause before it. I know, yeah. God. <laughs> and I composed myself. But... So... So, all that's left to say... <clears throat> <laughs>